Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 o'clock and we show you the junk that we've got for free or close to it. Today's a little bit different because we're at the church. Yeah, we're almost done in here for now. I mean, we could probably work on it for another five years, nitpicking all the little things, but right now it's pretty much ready for us to move into this side. The other side still needs a bit of work. But we're gonna be working on two projects today. One was not free. I actually paid $300 for this table. It's massive and has a huge quarter inch <laughs> steel top. This is just something I'm going to be working on while I'm responding to comments. And Zeb is working on this cabinet. I think yeah. I paid like 20-ish dollars for this antique. 25 at 25 dollars for this antique cabinet. And it's had a hole in the side, and we probably had it for a year. Yeah, it's got a hole here. There's a big chunk here. And this is not a veneer. This is actually the siding, so I can't just repair that. Yeah, there's easily. no repair piece to be done to it. And we've been wasting it away in the garage. And we're like, we have to start getting pieces finished to put into the shop and to make room in the garage to work and store things here or the barn, whatever you want to call it here at the church. So we're super excited to be here. Um, he painted this. Do you want to take it, uh, show them kind of the cabinet? Um, I don't like I can't I move it. Well, so. you can like angle it that way. We painted it paint blue. Um, and we just sprayed it. It does there have, it does have this um, like weird janky latch here. I'm gonna get a bigger, nicer one and replace this. And I will fill these holes and just touch up just this area. But he just sprayed it real quick and easy with the spray gun, covered like a dream. And the outside is basically done, except for what we're doing on the sides, which involves lath. Yes, lots of lath. And I still, I was trying to hustle. But it started raining and I had to move all my tools in. Oh, from you need outside. your hammer? Yeah. Did you? Oh, you took it away. So these have the little nails in them. And I got to knock these out real quick, which it'll only take a sec. I think I cut enough to do at least one side of this. Yeah, we have been painting like crazy. Um, it, is, it was actually really fun yesterday. We here, were... Since we're here, you guys get, I know people have been dying to see it. See if I can get the light to adjust. Yeah, it's a little bright. Here. We got ladders. I So we do have ladders over there. Jamie just, there's a chandelier up there that Jamie just painted up. I didn't paint it. I cleaned, cleaned up. it. We got to still paint the outside of the door. We have not done that yet. Well, it's because we're waiting to see if the fire marshal makes us put an exit sign. If he does, we got to rewire stuff and we're going to replace the doors because I bought <clears throat> antique French doors for the front of the church. And Zeb is gonna hold off putting them in for a bit. And that's why I haven't painted the front door because I don't know if it's staying or if it's gonna be leaving this week. All right, so I'm gonna knock nails out real quick. It shouldn't take me too long. The joy of using lath. <clears throat> lath. Zeb, can we pull that just like, how far can we pull the, the laptop so I can see? Let me see. Okay. All right, woot woot. Um, I'm gonna be that? using white linen. Zeb used paint blue on that. Both you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. And I, I actually don't hate the color that this piece is, but it's too dark and it clashes with the green cabinet over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty coat of this. And then I will come hit this with a sander to bring out some of the original tones. And the bottom will be chippy because the paint is literally already chipping off on this because it's used to live outside. So that well, is one of my- We probably would have painted it but we were gonna leave it as is. It has like a quarter inch steel plate that goes on the top, but it's all rusty. So I got to wire brush all the rust off. So we left that outside, but Harrington had to help me bring this in. Jamie, as tough as she is, could not carry this through the door because <laughs> it's just it's just massive and heavy. And so we got it in here and we were gonna leave it this gray kind of natural tone that it's got. And we were like, ah, oh, it's too heavy. It's too heavy for in here. Too heavy, meaning the color is too heavy. Yeah, the but color's too heavy. The, here's my pro tip. If you have a piece like this, if you want it to not chip off, then by all means, sand off the loose paint. But I actually want this to kind of be chippy, and I don't have a ton of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush Oops. on a thin coat, one coat and done, and then I will sand it. Um, and sorry, I'm not looking at the camera and then I will sand it and the chippy will come through the original tone. And because this paint has a built in sealer, that's all I'm going to do. So it's going to get one coat and done. So if you saw this wobble real quick history on, on this old building, it's got a big 
column, like foundation support in the middle of the floor and the floor joists tee out from there. And the walls on the outside have settled and sunk down, but this middle foundation did not really bow or, or move. And so we've got like this crown in the floor. You can see how bad it is. It's off on this eight foot table by about an inch on each side and I have to level it out. Um, I'm just gonna put a couple little feet on there. Some people have suggested cutting this, but if we ever move it, I want it to still be, I just wanna be able to remove those feet and, and uh, have it still be level. Don't mind normally. me, this was dirty. Hold on, Zub, I'm gonna need to get in your business oh. real quick. <laughs> well, I mean, this the, is that's dirtier. That's the brush from the job, for the job. <laughs> I don't mind some dirt on it when I paint it, cause I'm gonna sand it off, but. It's more than I yes, wanted to Yes, we probably should have cleaned it before we brought it in, but we're exhausted and we didn't do it. I got a vacuum. <laughs> it's okay. So these little <laughs> lath nails pop out of here pretty easy. I just put it on the edge here and just, I know I'm kind of far away. Hopefully you guys can see that. But when we come in, I'm going to bring the cabinet closer and I'll show you how I'm going to put these on. We were going to nail them, but it's pretty thin. It's like... I don't know, I'd say it's not quite a quarter of an inch uh, thick on this side panel, so. And I may trim around the edge. I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. All right, that'll do. Maybe towards the end of the video, if I can get the camera to cooperate, we'll pan and I'll show you the stage back behind you guys because it keeps going over that way with the arch. Kai says you're so skinny. <laughs> Me? <laughs> that is true. I was 219 on the scale today. I'm losing about two to three pounds a week still. I gotta feed him more. I told him 220 <clears throat> was a stopping point. Well, I think what's happening is now that the thyroid's fixed, I mean, I'm burning like five, 6,000 calories a day working here. I've worked from seven to midnight Monday. Yesterday, I was here until almost one. I didn't get here till 8.30 yesterday, um, <clears throat> but you know, I'm just, I'm just burning through it. And now that the thyroid's fixed, I'm actually metabolizing all of that. <laughs> and he's eating better, even, yeah, even with am, all the things going on. That's honestly probably a lot of it. Like Me, on the other hand, when I got to do projects like this, I got to have all the carbs. I drink soda. <laughs> but yeah, I am, I am getting thinner. I, uh, I was 250 back in end of May, so it's come off pretty quick. <clears throat> I save these old nails. That's why I'm putting them in a little pile over here. I use them for other things because they got that good rusty and they're, they're short. They're like the perfect size for small little projects. So Yeah, this table is crusty goodness. It's not going to be for sale here at the shop. This is going to be the workbench. Um, the checkout counter is on the other side and um, the gals many times there's somebody in here shopping and they have things that they need to get done like tagging clothes or whatever and so this will give them a big work area where they can work on shipping orders or tagging stuff or even because we're going to have a steel top on it the, they can paint stuff i'm hoping that we can get to the point where i have them help me paint some of the thrift haul like back in the day so they need a big workspace for that because in the shop now, if they're tagging stuff and somebody comes in, they have to move everything to check them out. And that's not really the best case scenario. So this will be good. I know, not super exciting. I was just showing you my rusty nails over there and I, <clears throat> I love them. And I also got like a frog in my throat this morning. So you guys will- Can you guys hear us okay? You should be able to, the mic's on. <clears throat> Yeah, we're, we're, we're mic'd up, but it is pretty echoey. The nice thing is, is you it can echoey really, in here? Well, I mean, like on the. No, on the, I'm just saying, like, it's actually echoey. Oh, in yeah, the no, it's really. Itself. It's, we got to get this thing filled up with some stuff. It's like, it's like a concert hall right now. If you want to belt out a hymn or something, you can really get it done. i am mostly been belting out John Denver's Country Roads, Take Me Home. Oh, it's been on repeat. It's been stuck in my head for a while. What song were you singing yesterday? I don't know. There was one. I don't know. You just kept singing it over and over again. It was one that was on my playlist. I need one more. Sound is good, okay. All right, good. Oh, the floor is so pretty. Thank you. So the floor is really 
rustic and rough, we wound up just using a flap sander to sand it with to take off the finish. There are areas where we had to repair it, so you can definitely see that. And there are areas where there were grease stains and like things that we couldn't get out. And we just sealed it with white oil wax, which is not shiny, but will protect the floor. And it gives it, keeps it from going yellow. And that's it. We couldn't use like a real heavy varnish or anything because it would have turned yellow. And it would have taken days and days to cure. And this, we did it on a Saturday and we were back in here walking on it on a Monday. And it will, it will wear with time which is what I wanted. I wanted something that didn't look brand new and I didn't want to replace the floors. And we used white oil wax at our house and I really liked it. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I'm painting over a lot of dirt here. All right, so this is what I'm using. It's what I had on hand from when I was repairing the, the floors. It's just the light Loctite PL400. I'm gonna treat it like uh, like a construction adhesive and hopefully it holds these on. It should, should hold them on pretty well. Well, hopefully it does. Cause I'm probably going to sell that cabinet. If it doesn't, I will probably just get little, get nails. some little nails and put them on. I just, the nails I have or the shortest I have is inch and a quarter. And this is, this is less than an eighth of an inch thick. So, or less than a quarter of an inch thick, I guess. So I may trim this out. I can't decide. Trim it out. Like trim the edge. Oh, I don't know. Cause it, there is, it. they aren't quite flush. There is a little bit of a lip here. Well, we'll see what it looks like when you get done. And then I'm gonna move these over here. So I don't have to keep- For those of you that are like, I can't believe you're painting that dirty. I'm gonna sand it and take off anything loose, dirt, otherwise. The dirt is actually a bonus. Yeah, it, it's gonna make it look old and crusty. I promise you. Back in the day, before I discovered chalk paint or milk paint, DIY paint, anything, I used to paint a lot with like crappy old paint. And so I would paint things that were dirty because then the paint wouldn't stick and then I could chip it off <laughs> by sanding it. And that's, that's the same thing I'm doing here today. And wherever it does stick, it'll look good. I just wanna lighten the piece up. All right, let's see, what's, what's been going on over here? Anything funny that's happened? Over the biggest, here? The biggest thing that we've been working on is trying to like be sleep deprived and then also still be nice to each other. But we've been, I think we've done okay. <laughs> it's all right. We have to remind each other. There have been other. some grumpy moments. We have to remind each other that we like each other and we're doing something fun. Okay, so this one has a little bow in it. I might get voted off the island because I, with the glue, I'm not going to be able to get it to sit flush. That's fine. But we have okay. thousands of boards still. We're trying to use this up any way we can. And I don't know that we're ever going to get it used up. We used it on the front of the stage. Did you show them that? I haven't yet. I'm saving it for more people to be on. Okay. We have been doing short form videos as often as we can. Actually, Zeb, would you grab my phone and film me painting this? <laughs> I did yeah. a video before. You did a before video? So I need to just get a close-up video. You guys can kind of see how that's looking there. All right. You ready to film me? Yeah. Yeah. But you got to keep talking and be interesting. All right. Well, it's just going to be like 30 seconds of filming. This is interesting. Are you right? only painting up to the lip there? You're yeah, not, because you're, you're going to put the, the top because I'm covering it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There you go. They, That's can't, good they can't see anybody right now. Is that good? Yeah, that'll Thanks. be that'll work great. We'll have yeah. full edited videos back next week. Yes. And yep. probably one of the church. I have been filming. We just haven't had time to edit one. Zeb is the editor. I did edit one video, but now I don't, I even, I don't really have time. That's why I've been doing short videos. So you guys can see snippets of the projects we're working on. Hopefully that helps get y'all excited about the grand opening. We're going to open next week for locals. And then the grand opening is in September. And well, if you want to come visit, I mean, it'll be open. What? <laughs> I said, if you want to, if you're coming by and you're not local. Oh yeah, even if you're open. not local, well, we're just going to have just regular opening, normal hours starting next Tuesday. I don't know how we're going to pull it all together. We have my retail manager wound up having to 
to leave because her husband got a full-time job, so she went back home and was taking care of her kids. And then um, Caitlin had a car that needed some repairs this week, so Larissa had a migraine yesterday, so it's been kind of crazy, but we're all going to pull together. Mariah's coming today to help pack up stuff. Yeah, we should get we should start moving things over today. We got to clean up the shipping area. It's like a it's where I've been keeping all of the extra supplies and the extra all the tools and the wires, everything that I've been saving is over there. It just needs either gone through and thrown away some of it or moved out to the barn slash garage slash going to be my workshop <laughs> slash storage space it's yeah a it's lot everything of, right now everything jimmy thought we is, were out of room but i cleared a big area in the middle oh that's got dirt on it everything is multifunctional we might sand these once we get them glued on too can they they can't even see you you're hiding over there oh they you're can just see like my a little hand. you're like a little hand with a brush I'm like the little magic that a cool yeah. thing too about this is this is going to make this a lot cleaner because it was really dirty, so we're going to clean it up with paint. It's like there was really no way to scrub the situation. So we're going to paint it, then we'll sand it. And I might clear wax the bottom just to seal in anything else that's on here. Because we'll probably have some product across the front for sale. You don't want it getting dirty. How long will it take you to do the steel top for this, then? Um, 20 minutes. I oh. got a wire wheel for my angle grinder and i'll just put it on there and is it something i can do if you show me how um yeah but if you get a piece of metal in your hand i don't i don't want oh. you to get hurt because okay. it can throw those wire brushes they can throw the i can wires. wear gloves yeah my dad glasses. got new gloves at lowe's yesterday when i was shopping with him and he was so excited he's wearing them all over the place I'll get you guys a farther back angle here in just a sec. He's still in bed now. To, yesterday was Harrington's birthday. He turned 20. He worked all day because he's an adult. <laughs> but <laughs> I asked bought, him how his summer break was going. He's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, Zeb got him riding gloves for his new motorcycle, and I got him a metal detector because he likes to go exploring. Um, and so I got him a metal detector and then I got him a balloon and peach rings because those are his favorite. And then tomorrow marks the end of birthday season, unless you include my birthday, which is September 8th. But we have two weeks with five birthdays and tomorrow is Odelia's 17th birthday. Yep. And she's going to be at cheer all day. I think uh, her and her boyfriend are going to go out for dinner sometime this weekend. They've got football and cheer on Friday. It's the first official game of the season um, on Friday. So I think they're going to hold off celebrating until Saturday. We'll see. All right. So I have this thin little strip here and the lath is not completely uniform because it's pretty rough sawn wood. They're not really worrying about, I mean, if it's got a little gap, they like it better because they're going to poke plaster through that. So it's a little wider down here than it is up here. So I'm going to have to take that to the table saw and fit a little piece in. What I'm thinking I might do is just leave that alone and trim out the edge and do like a 45 and trim out the edge all along but that will have to happen off camera because i don't have the pieces sawn out i'm just thinking out loud here that might make it look a little cleaner too we had a question way Leah, in what Way in if you think I should trim it or just cut a piece to fit in here and leave it alone. Because if I trim it, I'm not going to worry about that little piece. I'm just going to put this over the top. Which is easier? Um, trimming, probably. Uh, the, the little pieces. I mean, I'm put it on the table saw. Oh, Odelia's on here. She's also going to IHOP at midnight tonight. All right. So there's that. I'm going to try to get this other. I think I've got enough pieces cut to at least complete one side all the way. They said trim it, Dana, Leslie, Sergio. All right, I'm going to go check. How many people do we have watching? Have you guys been sharing it out? Um, we have three. <laughs> well, I don't know, but I, I can't have comments on everything, so I just have YouTube comments All right, on my phone. we're up to 462. Someone 462. gave us a frowny face already. That's okay. I'll take it. Do the frowny faces. The I frowny face must have been on Facebook. Trim, trim. Everybody's saying trim. Trim it out. Trim, trim, trim it out.
Kai says, loved your cheerleading pics and the cute boyfriend. Cooper's getting a haircut before school starts. Much debate about what to do with those curly locks. <laughs> <laughs> We've been told it's going to be a mullet. Odelia's like, do whatever you want. It's your hair. All right. We're going to, there's almost 500 people watching. I'll show you a pan of the stage. So this is what the lath looks like. Let me see if I can move this without getting too crazy. All right. So we've also used the lath on the stage. If you haven't been following along on like all the stories and things, you're gonna get a view of it now. Let me just adjust in the camera here. All right, so there's the stairs. We still got a couple little things to do on those. We're gonna paint the risers white. Uh, we might do some sort of darker stain on the, uh, the treads. Um, but here's the arch. I don't think I can move this camera very much because of power cables it's plugged into. But there's, there's the arch up, ceiling fan working overtime. That thing runs all day. <laughs> I never turn it off. It's pretty low energy. I can run that thing for $9 a year is what it said on the box. So we'll see if it's true. But what that was $9 is all a year? And then this is, um, we got this down at Home Depot. I'm, I don't know where the scrap is, but we... We didn't do the white grate on there. I'm gonna hold that on with magnets. Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see what we did. Oh, I need to paint that today we too while I have the out, light up. And it's a little bit different design to be a little fancier. We had to do the air returns there um, just for the HAC so everything flowed properly. And there's one under the stairs hiding and it vents out the other side of the stairs. But it's coming along. I'll give you a view of the ceiling. Don't get vertigo. It's high. I still have to move that board. I keep forgetting every time I'm up there. I don't need it up there anymore, and it's, it needs to come down. I was standing on it to do some work. Um, got the alarm system all in here, so that's done. The internet, the alarm is all good. Um, we can I'd live stream all the time over here now because the internet is working, and it's good. Yeah, it's business internet, so it's better. Um, I was going to say... <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys have ever worked or renovated on old buildings, but I'm just telling you right now, I have definitely done things with caulk that I'm not proud of. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, because none of the walls are straight. We got cracks and stuff. And I have a feeling that I'm going to be caulking little cracks and dents and dings for the duration because it'll just look so much better, even on like the brick. If there's a big hole, we just caulk it. <laughs> so this big arch here was the original entry to the church building and then they added this little entryway alcove uh later back when they were doing the addition so there used to be a big door and that fit into here with double doors on the bottom so we're going to try to do some double doors where that one is but we got to go jamie found some but i have to we're waiting to see what the fire marshal says because if we got to do a exit sign um, that's lit, I have to run power to it. So we're going to wait. And we, we still will probably paint that door because we got to get open. Yeah, we painted the inside of it. If, if we don't have to do the exit sign, then I'll go ahead and go outside. I am going to paint the front door. I think hate blue. I think to start off with, though, I'm going to spray the entire door package white. Let's see what it looks like. And then if I'm like, okay, I want to paint it blue, then I'll paint it blue because we can spray it all. I can tape things off and spray that front door pretty quickly. That's how we did the inside door. Um, let's see. What is going on the stage, Kim? The stage is going to be where our DIY supplies are and clothing. So mostly like lightweight stuff, just an extension of the store. We've got to get the banister put up. I think we're going to try to reuse the existing banister from the staircase we tore down in here. Um, because we've got all those balusters and whatever. So I think Jamie's going to paint this white. This is the, the uh, return vent that came with that. And then I just, this comes in a sheet. We got it down at Home Depot. It's like two by three or two by four sheet of this. And how much was this, Jamie? $44. $44. I have enough to do two grates. Um, I thought that was a lot of money. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Because <laughs> since they're just rolling this on a machine that's punching it. it but the like metal, like seconds. everything costs more now. Like yep. we've tried to reuse as much stuff as possible. And you're going to paint this white, you think, or just leave it metal? No, I'm going to paint it white. I said I got it. Well, I got the white paint out today. I'm going to paint it. Do you want to paint it right now? 
Um, no, because my brush has dirt on it. Oh. She's back behind hiding, so if you if every now and then she peeks her head up and you can see her. Sorry, I'll try to peek up so you guys can see me, but I we don't have a ton of time, so I've got to get this finished by the time we're done. Jamie, what brand of shoe are you wearing? Um, I wear uh, on shoes, on, on cloud. cloud. They're um, Swiss and they're kind of expensive. These ones I retired into work shoes because they're so comfortable. Um, they reduce fatigue, at least for me, on my knees. So it's important that I wear them while I'm working. So this is just one coat coverage. Um, if you're just tuning in, it was pretty dirty and gross and we left it that way because we're going to sand it. We might even get to doing some sanding because it can't. we can't move it. So we're just going to have to sand it in here yeah, and then gonna... vacuum up afterwards. But I love, I love the way the feet are put together with the, the joints down here. Um, they're just bolted in. And they, and they cut out for the supports. And then this is also bolted on the apron. It's really sturdy. You could tell I'm turning 40 in a few weeks because when we renovated our house, I pretty much wore Birkenstocks for the entire renovation, but I haven't been able to do that on this one because <laughs> my feet hurt. <laughs> I've got our, Zeb and I are gonna go buy new clothes next week after we move in because all of our clothes have become work clothes. Uh, I don't have a single thing that doesn't have paint or a tear or isn't all worn out. Like all of my, pants and shorts have like holes in them from snagging on nails from when we were doing demo. Luckily we thrift most of our clothes. Yeah, this so. is all thrifted. These all came from like the DI or savers. Or if Except I, for my shirt. Anything my shirt. that I don't thrift is typically something that I carry here in the shop. But yeah, like the pants I'm wearing today actually have a giant hole in the crotch. So I decided they could be work pants. <laughs> they can be work. They're pants. really my favorite pants. So I'll probably use them anytime I got to work. They're super comfy. Are those the ones that are sewn up? Yeah, so I bought these at the thrift store and somebody already sewed them. Actually, Mariah told me she could put a patch on these for me where the hole is. Because they are, they're so comfy. I can eat whatever I want and they, they're never tight. I'm going to have to come back through here with the magnet. I lost the nail. You know what I love about buying used pants? Is that somebody else has already broken them in. <laughs> like, they're all stretched out. And whatever clothes, like if they fit, they're going to keep fitting you because they won't shrink because they've been washed like a million times. So this has that steel top that we've been telling you about. I was secretly hoping it would not fit through the door so that I could just use it in the barn. Because <laughs> uh, it's so sturdy. It would make an amazing workbench. I mean, the planks aren't super flat, but when you put that steel top on there. It's going to be an amazing workbench. It's going to be a workbench for the shop. Think of all the Jamie Ray vintage packages that are going to be boxed up right here. I know. And all the thrift haul that will get painted. It's going to be great. The gals are super excited to have a workspace because we used to have a workspace in the back studio at our old store. But they couldn't but it be got where they could over. like greet people or talk to people. Yeah, here this like is they'd even they'd be better. coming from the back when people came in. Well, the nice thing too is if they're sitting here painting something with our paint, it's a great conversation starter with customers. Like they can see what they're working on and it really does sell more paint. Which, I mean, I like to sell paint, especially the cottage colors because that's our paint. Well, we might even have like little test stuff. That yeah, we could have a little out. project. We could be like Huckleberry Finn. We could be like, doesn't this look fun when customers come in? And I could have all these things. That's that Tom Sawyer. He got Tom Sawyer, Finn sorry. To he got a Huckleberry Finn to do this. That's right. So painting. Tom Sawyer, they could see them painting, think it looks like fun, and then the customers could actually paint the stuff, then buy it and take it home. <laughs> it's a brilliant new business idea. <laughs> got to whitewash a fence. Look how fun this is. <laughs> Dana says, due to inflation, people are buying used yoga pants. She draws the line there. Um, I have bought used yoga pants. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. I have a disinfection cycle. Joan says, just watching us makes her feel exhausted. Uh, I, I, the energy is definitely waning. Like, we started doing this business together. I was 33 years old. We've been doing it seven years together now. And I can definitely tell you, I, I can, I'm still like strong enough to do all the work, 
but I don't recover like I did when I was in my early 30s. <laughs> well, even when we did the house, like we have not pulled any all-nighters here. I don't think we're going to. No, because I've been we working until like midnight, one o'clock, and then I go pass out until seven in the morning. <laughs> I think the difference to those of is that it's football season. When we finished the house, it was Christmas season, which is busy, but football season is busier. <laughs> Our kids are like uber busy. Thank goodness for the other moms on the team. I'm probably getting paint all over my hair because they help get people to and fro. Mariah is taking our boys to weigh in because her boy plays football. Her so. so Tiff G says her daughter was passing through the living room and heard you talking about like painting. I think I'm guessing that's what she was talking about, like having projects they can just come in and like test the paint out with. And she said that sounded fun. I think that's what she was talking about. Oh yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're fun. We're fun people. All right. I'm going to stick my pro okay. tip. I don't know if they can see this, but when I'm down to the end of the can, I just stick it on my piece and let all the paint fall out. We did that when we painted the floors. So it took us nine pints to paint 500 square feet of flooring on our um, stage. And it has so far so that's basically a gallon and a pint. We have not babied it at all. We have drug ladders across it. We did not really let it cure. We let it cure for like 36 hours and it has been so good. So I'm excited to see how the paint And wears. it's super easy if we have, like I had a big scratch on it from where I dropped a tool and I just went and painted over it. It's, it's fixed. It took me like three seconds and it was dry in 10 minutes. Let's try to get off more dirt. I'm making my own clay paint here because there's dirt on the brush. <laughs> All right, I need another um, can of paint. I will level this. It's on the list for like today or tomorrow. Yeah, well, we got to do it because we're going to start loading things in. There's so much dirt everywhere. Yeah, well, you brushed it off with that heavy uh, job site broom. <laughs> it's basically like a, it's got super stiff bristles. It's like a horse brush. We have, I know I told you guys we weren't going to ship anything out this week, but my um, staff is amazing. So if you ordered something, you're like, hey, I thought they weren't shipping. We, they did. They shipped out everything they could ship out from the thrift hall and anything that we painted up. So like somebody ordered those corbels. I finished those up after the live. So we don't, anything that still needs painted won't get done, shipped out till next week. But everything else has been shipped because I was like, let's ship it before we move it. So if you ordered something and it shipped out, that is why. And then everything else will be shipped out Monday, Tuesday, next week. Yeah, they're still getting stuff out. We just, when we move, we got to get everything back organized uh, and Patricia, find it. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, what? I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just reading no, it. Patricia Girding said, I painted a piece of furniture, iris blue, waited 24 hours, put big top, and it bled through. Um, it's probably whatever you painted had bleed through and then when you put the sealer on it it pulled it through yeah sealer especially liquid sealers can wick stuff like you could have it painted perfect and then you seal it and then all as it dries the sealer like hardens and wicks stuff up through the paint and that's it unfortunately it happens to all of us <laughs> so the but it's a bummer that it happened to you because usually you're done with your project, you walk away, go eat lunch or whatever, and you come back and you're like, ah, oh, now I gotta paint this whole thing again. So what you have to do is anywhere where there's bleed through, you need to use salvation solution. There's directions on the can, but usually two coats, wait 24 hours, then repaint and seal, and it should seal in any bleed through that you're having. So I'm guessing if it's bleed through, it's probably grease because wood tannins wouldn't bleed through because blue iris is a very, dark color I mean, you might still see like a little splotchiness yeah but not the way you do on like white paint so that's no. what i'm guessing it's probably some sort of old grease from the piece which is so hard people sometimes are like i cleaned it i'm not a dirty person i promise you nobody is judging you if it's grease because grease just has a way of rearing well, its ugly head especially when well, you're sealing. i sprayed this it didn't even look dirty i wiped it down before i sprayed it and as soon as it started drying it looked like someone had splattered spaghetti all over the front so I had to prime that up. Jane says the terrines we have in the shop are super adorable. Aren't they cute, the little soup terrines? We actually have a lot of really cute stuff in the shop right now. As soon as we move, I think it's all going to sell like crazy, even though it's already online, because people are going to see it here, and they're going to want it. 
because I we just have ordered a ton a of displays of that are really cool that we need to either get painted up or get moved in here. And we have some good displays now, but they're so stacked up because we just don't have room. So you don't really see the display. No problem, Patricia. If you still have a problem, email info at jamierayvintage.com and send us pictures and then that will help too. So we want to make sure that you get through your project because I know how frustrating it can be to want to finish something and need help. All right. So guys, I'm pretty much done with this. I have more boards I could do the other side, I guess, I, but I don't think I have enough cut to do the whole thing. But I wanted to finish one side up so you could see and kind of get an idea. I'm sure we'll distress this. We'll hit it with some 220 grit. And we might even do that in a minute when Jamie starts distressing this. I don't know if this is going to get dry enough. I don't know if you want me touching that. I'm covered This in is paint. getting dry enough. I mean, you got a couple little drippies, but it's drying pretty fast since you're putting it do on. Do you need so to brush then. the drips? No, I just wiped it with my hand. Okay. I might it adds get, to the patina. I might go get one of those towels and just smooth everything out. Uh, you know, it's funny is I always that. think of like dirt on a piece like this is like the original decrepit dust. You know how we sell decrepit dust to make things look old? Mm -hmm. This already has its own decrepit dust. Can you guys see this whole, whole thing in the shot? I could probably bring that metal sheet in just, just to show them. Are you strong enough? Yeah, I, I moved it out of it's there. It's early in the day. Yeah, you can put it in here. It's early in the day. I yeah, actually, I still got. I, I actually don't want to wire brush it. I just want to seal it. You're the one that want to wire oh, brush it. Oh, I, I mean, we can try to seal it. There's a lot of rust on it. Yeah, but I was just sitting thinking out could, in the rain. We could seal it but in. But loving, loving this cabinet. Actually, with this, we might do this to a lot of things because, literally, the stack of lath is still probably like this high in the garage, and about that wide. <laughs> I know because I stacked it all. <laughs> I have moved that lath so many times and I'm ready to get rid of it so I don't have to move it again. Because so, I have a feeling if we don't use it, we'll move it. So I was looking. I'm like, what if we run out of lath and we still have more things we want to do? I don't think we're going to run out for a long time. But I looked into it and you can still buy lath new. Like you can, it's like 50 bucks for like a bundle. I mean, you can't get this patina. But what you could do is use like steel wool and vinegar on it. And I bet you could age it a little bit or use milk paint. Yeah. Do like a faux stain. All this right. table is so dang solid. There's like solid two by six or two by 10. Yeah, it's, I was, I was going to use it for a workbench. It was going to be amazing. I was going to clamp a big vice on the end of it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, let I me crushed grab your workbench rag. Drinks. That's what I was after. In my defense, I bought it, so. All right, so this is just a dry rag, and I'm going to come in here and try to speed up the dry time on this and just wipe off all the excess paint, and that's going to help us with the distressing, too. Oh, they fixed the camera screen. Me? Yeah, somebody asked if you would fix it. Oh. I mean, during live stream and middle project, I try to do good. Sometimes I don't. To give you an idea on the amount of paint, I used one pint and I just popped open my second paint pint and I'm maybe gonna use a third of this pint. So I always like to tell people how much paint, how far they can expect things to go. If you wanted full coverage, you would probably need at least two pints on this. But for what we're doing, one and a little bit will be good. Plus I'm not painting oh, the top. And this is a huge table, lots how, of surface How long area. is this table you think? It's, I think it's an eight footer. Well, and we're not painting the top, but there's an entire equivalent of the top on the bottom shelf. We don't have the heat guns over here yet, so. So we're using a, something to wipe it's it off with. Are you using those microfiber rags? It looks so good. I'm glad we painted it. It matches better with the vibe we got going in here. And plus that doesn't clash with my green cabinet. I think I've got this mostly all the, there's no drippies. We were going to get them with the yeah. sander anyway, but. And this paint is not chippy because it's old lead based paint. This paint is chippy because this sucker lived outside for a real long time. Okay. I'm going to go see if I can grab that. Let me go find some gloves. I'm just going to be over here painting this table, this wobbly table. 
<laughs> if you're just tuning in, it's not wobbly because there's anything wrong with the table. It's wobbly because this building is 130 years old and there's a big cement beam that runs down the middle of the floor. And so it's sagged on each side as things do as they get old. And so the middle is nice and perky and the sides are saggy in this floor. All right. Sorry we haven't been on comments as much. Hopefully Caitlin's able to answer every, all your questions. She's usually pretty good. Caitlin is the one, she's like the first person you talk to on paint issues and she, she knows all the things. She does know all the things. Kai, so we should have the football team come over and help us move. They probably I'm would. I'm going to leave my I'm mic good. in there. I don't know so if they would be as delicate with my things as I would want them to be. And really, it's boxes of, of stuff. I don't think it's going to be too bad. We don't have to be out of our place. It's not a big furniture anymore. Like, the displays will be big, but nothing. I mean, Jamie and I put them all in there by ourselves. So. Yeah. The, um, we don't have to be out of our place till the end of August. So we'll get most of it moved over. We'll go elk hunting. Then we'll come back. And then we'll really just clean out everything the last week of August so we can turn over the keys to the landlord. Can I tell you how exciting it was to like pay that last rent payment and be like, I am not paying rent anymore. I mean, now I pay a mortgage, but at least it's my own building. It's way more fun to work on something and invest in something you own. All right. I think I did pretty good about brushing this. <laughs> Diane, I'm saggy on both sides, but unfortunately there's no perkiness. Diane, you have a perky personality. All right, I'm now painted it. Did anybody comment, don't paint that old wood? <sighs> okay, Ooh, I'm squatting down. It's that time in the project where every time you move, you gotta make a sound effect. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> Caitlin, you did enough. You know what Caitlin did? Caitlin um, sanded the shipping studio. The walls were very textured and Zeb sprayed them and they look a thousand times better. I'm gonna get in there today, paint the window seals so Zeb can start assembling shelves. And then we're gonna put some curtains in um, the shipping room so that way it's not too Right, and we don't want to like fade the labels of the paint cans and whatnot. Oh, sweet. Lynn got the crocheted baby blanket and sent to her grandson. I love it. Marsha wants to know what business is going into the rented space. I'll let you know. I would assume that the landlord's probably going to go in there and do some renovation because when he purchased the property, we were already in it. So he purchased it from the last, what? He purchased it from the last landlord. And so I'm sure there's things he wants to take care of. Oh, Zeb left all of his nails here. He's not gonna want those on this. Is that heavy, sweetheart? A little heavy. Good thing we already had hernia surgery. Which is the better side? Oh, I'd help you, but got me breathing heavy. I'm not twenty anymore. You're not twenty. That is faux show. Sure. See, I think I just want to seal it up. I think I could put some. You know, you should have seen Zeb and I moving this sucker into the um, trailer because my son wasn't available when <laughs> when we needed to move this. And so I was, <laughs> I had the dolly, Zeb had one end, we made it work. So my friend, um, Angela, just moved out of her shop down the street. She had some medical issues and so she had to close and I purchased this from her, but we also got a lot of things for free, which the um, front counter came from her. And we have quite a few pieces that are gonna go in here from her shop. This was actually her paint. She painted on top of this, so it's covered in drippy paint, this front counter. Um, and she's like, are you sure you want that? It's covered in paint, and I love it. 
If I could unplug and show you the front of this, I would. But if you look at it, we have some short form content that you can see the front of this checkout counter. Yeah, that's good. I'll just clean it really good and put some sealer on it so it doesn't rust anymore. And I think we'll be able to use it. I might have to take the grinder to the edges. Yeah, we don't want They're anybody getting injured. It's definitely been like out in a shop. Yeah. Now it's out in our shop. Oh, this does look good. I was busy painting and I didn't get a chance to look at this. So are you going to cut a skinny piece for the back? Yeah, or I might trim it. Everybody was saying trim. Oh, we're blurry. Hang on. Let me see if I can fix it. Oh, it's, I think it's fine now. There we go. All right. So okay, let's start distressing that. Okay. We always tell them pricing on things. This piece here, we pay $25 for it and it'll probably sell somewhere in the shop for about $3.95 and then online for about six or seven ninety five depending on how much it costs to ship because all that's shipping which is a million dollars these days hang on i gotta get a drink that was like working that was like that a full was workout hard. for the day right there you know there's no shelves in here are we gonna need to put a shelf in here or put a bar to hang stuff yeah maybe oh all right so the sander has 80 grit. Let me get 220 grit on there. Um, so, yeah, they do make a, a product that you can put on stuff that will stop the rust. All right, okay. here you go. Did you get 220? Yep. I got some right here for you. Oh, we're going to use the actual sander? Yeah. All right, I'm going to leave. We're my... in here. Yeah, take that off here. Hold on one second. Wait for it. I took my mic off for all your peeps at home that I love that I don't think you want to hear the uh, sander <laughs> in your ear. Yeah, so the old front out checkout counter is going to be the shipping desk, although it's possible that I might steal the legs off of it and put some regular four by four legs because those legs are really cool on that. You got to get geared up. I got to get geared up. Yeah, well. there's chippy paint on that. So. Not the goggles. Yes, the goggles. Can't have anything getting in the sideways eyes. It's going to fling chips because it's chippy underneath. All right. I'm going to stand back and film her. that's not too loud I'm not talking I'm just sitting here watching her <laughs> hopefully the mic's doing a lot of the canceling yeah I've been zoomed in guys i think we're gonna call it there i'm gonna finish the other side of this and then we'll uh we, we'll probably wipe this off real good and get the loose rust off right yeah we'll get the <laughs> loose rust off i'll just hit it with a sander i didn't know how rough you wanted it to be and then take the grinder to these corners so that they're not sharp or catching anybody when they're going by and then i will finish up a short form video on this and we'll get it up on youtube um, later this afternoon or this evening so you can see the finished piece 
and then maybe we'll finish that up and I'll share a picture of that out so you guys can see it. If you want the products we used today, it was white and linen. Oh, they can't hear me. Your mic's way over there. Maybe mine was picking you up. Hopefully. Oh, sorry guys. I apologize. It's like I'm new here. Um, if you want the paint products we used today, visit jamierayvintage.com. We used white linen in cottage color as well as paint blue. Both of them have a built-in sealer. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Catch you guys later. <laughs>